You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. Prime Minister Hun Sen requested all officials to implement tax payments properly so that the state still has enough money to spend. He announced he will no longer allow for a culture of tax evasion to continue anymore. EAC News reporter Anthony Ellis has more details. Prime Minister Hun Sen has called on ministries and institutions to reduce spending and increasing revenue as the government has to spend more on COVID-19 crisis. Speaking at the closing ceremony of the meeting to summarise the work of 2021 and the work of orientation of 2022 of the Ministries and Interior on Wednesday, Prime Minister Hun Sen asked the ministries and state institutions to reduce spending to help the government deal with national problems such as the fight against COVID-19. He said the government has spent a lot of money to buy vaccines, provide supplies to citizens and buy medicine, which is necessary for Cambodia today. The Premier has asked all the ministries and the state institutions to reduce unnecessary expenses to be ready in case of any eventual problems. He continued to say, in the past we earned three, spent two and saved one. But since COVID-19, we have not been able to reduce costs. Please ensure an order. If there is any project and if it can be postponed, please postpone it because cost is less. At the same time, the Prime Minister also called to all the customs to try to collect more revenue and warn those who invade paying taxes for their cars that their vehicles can be burned. He said that in the past, the tax for cars had been reduced by 10% for those who had not yet paid the import tax. But now it is too late and everyone must pay their full taxes. The General Department of Customs and Excise of Cambodia reduced tax for vehicles by 10% for those who had not paid the import tax by the 31st of December 2021. However, starting from January 1, 2022 until 30th of June 2022, vehicle owners must fulfil their tax and duty obligations without any tax deductions. Anthony Ellis, EAC News.